what are some established career paths for a young engineer in environmental engineering and in air quality management there will be a need for people to participate at different levels um you know so we had talked about monitoring and measurements there is a need for practitioners who can come out there and be part of this beyond this there is uh, there's two other elements one is you know people who are actually building this equipment and a lot of these equipment right now is being built in india sometimes with uh, licensing but sometimes with uh, innovation happening here on the on the other side would be the data that's coming from these uh, you know the air quality stations and the air the air monitoring network that requires uh, there's two kinds one is you need to do chemical analysis so there's a lot of analytical work that you need to do whether it's mass spectrometers and so on but then there's there is a uh, uh and, and then we need to now understand uh what as we make these policies we need to understand what are the implications of these policies what are the likely changes on the ground that requires modeling and uh, there's a lot of modeling work right now being done in india many of these engineers whether you're mechanical engineer chemical engineer um civil engineers they all could easily transition into one of these uh you know air quality modeling experts with just a little bit of self learning afterwards because you've got all the training all of the background that you need you've got also now uh data that's coming in from sensors and so on so i would say data analysts uh data science majors uh they could play a big role in the upcoming years so we talked of what i call ai the real ai here aerosol intelligence being aware of what's in the air being able to measure it and then throw the artificial intelligence layer on top to really get something meaningful for policy makers and communities to find the solutions